Outside it snows. Inside, I got me a fire going. <laughs> Yes, I think, is the prettiest sight I have woken up to for a while. Is there a view from my apartment window? There was. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> so much snow! It's better clear when I leave! <laughs> it has an hour! Time to brave it, I guess. Lord have mercy on my soul. And within the space of nine hours, as if nothing had happened, the snow melts away. Well, that's depressing. Just defrosting some mochi to have later after I've had my leftover breakfast. Because who needs to cook, am I right, guys? I am one long day at work away from buying and eating cup ramen. Two months, guys. I've been here for two months. Good. I haven't used my old bath mat for about three weeks, but somehow that bastard is still haunting me. And I still haven't bought a mop. Adulting. Doing it wrong. Believe it or not, it's bright as hell. Seeing is not easy. So I've had a little bit of an issue uh, since arriving in that sometimes I'll get kids who like to try and swear in English and normally that doesn't bother me. Normally, like even back in England, if a kid swears around me, like I really, I don't care. To me, it's not a big deal. But I know that in a school environment, it's not, you're not supposed to do it it's a professional environment so I ever so I've had two kids so far try and push their luck a little bit and both kids have said shit in the classroom and I've heard it so I've had to like I've had to be that teacher and be like um that's not very appropriate for learning is it or oh, whatever as I said I can't remember that's not very appropriate for school time or something like that anyway so today we're doing a bit of science with the kids uh with my younger guys my animal class and <laughs> this is this is the problem with the pronunciation and why I'm so hot on it my animal class are I would say I'd say about eight maybe I don't actually know. I've been really, really bad at guessing ages because I thought my boss's kid was eight years old. Nah, he's 11. <laughs> 13 Korean age, but 11 international age. So, um, I'm, I'm pretty naff. I'm pretty naff with ages myself. Anyway, so I'd say they're about, like, they're, they're young. They're young, given that their names are animals and not, like, Ellie, Barbara, Kathy, one of them is actually called, she actually called herself Kathy. I was like, you're a teenager. <laughs> That's a middle-aged white mum name. Why are you calling yourself Kathy? She went, yeah, she went from Violet to Kathy. I'm like, okay, whatever floats you about, I guess. So anyway, we're doing a bit of science with the kids. And one of the questions I asked was, so what can animals do with their body? So like, we were going to like hunt, animals can hunt, animals can, you know, eat. And then one of them said, sit. But it didn't sound like sit. <laughs> the S was a bit of a shh sound. So I was like, I was, it took me a while. I was, so I was staring at him for ages like, did you say what I think you said or did you say something else? He said, he said sit, that's what he said, but I thought his answer to the question, what can animals do with their body? Shit. <laughs> Needless to say, I had a little chuckle to myself earlier. That was just, that was, that was gold. 
It's brilliant. I've just been in the store next to me. And I don't know the Korean for chicken. So I was like, that looks like chicken. I'll translate it. And, it trans and I've got the Google Translate app so that it, you can sort of take a photo of something and it'll translate automatically. <clears throat> so I did that. And the first translation I came up with was chicken police. I was like, <laughs> I was having a right old chuckle to myself in the meat section. That was so funny. I'm also getting my mobile phone tomorrow. I'm getting my alien card and a mobile phone number. This is fantastic. Do you know? Nope. Oh, he is the last president of Beijing because of the war. Yeah.